A blessed day, classmates, and then welcome again to our new uh, lesson. And I'm going to discuss to you the very first chapter for the second grading, uh, which is entitled Good Citizenship Values. So I know that you have heard about values. I know that we learn a lot of uh, regarding values when you're still uh, in high school and even elementary. Now, a uh, part of the or one of the topics you know, that will be discussed to you here in NSTP is so that we're going to look at the good citizenship values, particularly here in the Philippines, or uh, the four core values of being a Filipino, and also other important details regarding this topic or lesson. So let me just uh, proceed on the next slide. Now, what are the things that we need to know in this uh, lap topic or lesson? I'm going to introduce to you what is citizenship, a voluntary um, service, but more on citizenship. And we're going to focus actually on that particular term. And I'm going to uh, give some examples also of issues or problems related to cit uh, citizenship and significance of a good citizenship. So what is now the importance or why is it that we need to talk about this uh, topic or we need to introduce to you this kind of lesson. And I'm going to... Uh, look at or we're going to look at what is all about the national development what is the role no, of this good citizen, good citizenship in this particular uh, national development or in uh, developing our country okay? and definitely i'm going to discuss to you one by one the good citizen values or yung good citizenship values so let's start with the citizenship so we know that when we fill up forms no we always uh, I see this uh, question or let's say in that particular form that we're going to fill up you know, that what is our citizenship probably since we are uh, staying here in the Philippines and we are Filipinos definitely that is our citizenship but there are some guidelines or policies um, not really policy but let's say policy but more on appropriate term when you say guidelines not to uh, see why is it that we are called to be uh, Filipinos or uh, how no? How we know that we are having this kind of citizenship, which is Filipino. Okay? Maybe some of you are foreigners or maybe some of you are not really Filipino. So here are some guidelines that we need to look into. Uh, the first one is that those who are citizens of the Philippines during the adoption of the 1987 constitu constitution. So definitely, uh, even for, for the past years or for the past decades, we are still using this kind of of basis no so which is the 1987 constitution so those who are citizens of the philippines uh, during the adoption or the very first uh, day you know that is being implemented yung ating uh, 1987 constitution because it's already there no it's already been uh, written in the 1987 constitution what else definitely those whose fathers or or mothers are citizens of the Philippines or a Filipino citizens. So definitely, I think this is uh, what we are in common. No? Because uh, all of us, we can say that we, our mother and then father is uh, a Filipino citizen. Although maybe some of you are having a foreigner parent, maybe the father or maybe the mother, there is another explanation to that one later on. Okay? And definitely, those born before January 17, 1973, of uh, Filipino mothers who elect Philippine citizenship upon reaching the age of majority. So I think we this is more uh, is that applicable to our great grandparents uh, or maybe great great grandparents because that is 1973. So they are considered to be Filipino citizens and uh, those who are naturalized in accordance with the law. So if uh, let's say for example you are American and you come here in the Philippines and you want to become a Filipino citizen, there is a particular law uh, wherein you will be naturalized. No? So same as true with the other countries. No? If you want to be an American citizen and you're a Filipino and you say you go to Canada or let's say Australia or America and you want to become there uh, to, to stay there for a long time or let's say you will become a American or Australian or maybe a Canadian, you need to go along with the basis or with the law, now, which is uh, you, you need to be naturalized as a Canadian or as an American, etc. So same as true here in the Philippines. No? In fact, there are already foreigners who are being naturalized here in the Philippines. Either it is a Chinese, a Chinese or maybe 
uh, even uh, even other foreigners, no, let's say Americans. There are actually a lot no, that is being naturalized here in the country. So I don't know if maybe there are some of you who are considered to be naturalized or maybe your parents are naturalized. So it is not Uh, was that, it's not easy no, to say that uh, let's say for example uh, you have a, a father which is American and your mother is a Filipina uh, but staying here in the Philippines and let's say your 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 father that is American is uh, naturalized definitely you are considered to be uh, Filipino still no? and uh, your mother is still a uh, Filipino citizen that's why you will still be called as a Filipino okay But uh, in case, no, in case that let's say, for example, you stayed here in the Philippines, and uh, we have what we call the term dual citizenship, no. So either you are Filipino or maybe American citizen. So we have also that kind of law, and we are still applying that one here in the Philippines and even in the other countries. But I don't know if all of the countries have kind this kind uh, have this kind of policy or law. No, but here in our country, we have what we call the uh, naturalized law, and then we also have uh, what we call this one, the the dual citizenship. So let's say you are Filipino American, you are uh, Filipino uh, Spanish, and etc. Okay, so those are the general guideline or basis for being a a Filipino. So you look into it. Maybe there are some of you are not a Filipino, but I hope not. No, I think most of us, or let's say all of us, are basically. Uh, Filipinos here no, in our country except to those who are tourists or maybe from the other countries or foreigners that are just uh, having a vacation here in the Philippines. Alright, now good citizenship. So we talk about citizenship and now the question is uh, how, no? how to become a good citizen here in the Philippines or how to become a good Filipino citizen because this is one of the uh, challenges even or especially during this time now that we are facing pandemic or the COVID-19 uh, we observe a lot of things that is happening within our country uh, and uh, one good question is that how no, how to become a good citizen here in the Philippines or how to become a good Filipino citizen so when you talk about good citizenship it is worthy of love service and protection of our country and even uh, different uh, considerations that we're going to look at it one by one. No? So let's start with personally responsible citizens. So responsibility. No? Being a responsible person meaning you will also become a good citizen uh, here no, in our country. And even if you are even in the other countries, no, if you are a responsible person, you are a responsible citizen, definitely you will uh, known to be a good citizen. Okay, so look at the picture on the right screen. You can see there, take 100% responsibility on whatever our action, whatever we say, whatever we do or to, yes, do no, to, to other people or to ourselves. We need to have what we call this one, 100% responsibility as much as possible. No? Uh, so being responsible, meaning uh, we will become a good citizen. So... Take note on that one, no responsibility. What else? Participatory citizen. So one good uh, basis no, of uh, being a good citizen is that we need to participate no, on the different uh, uh, programs, activities, national activities, and even to abide, no, participate on whatever the policy or law that is being implemented here in our country. Because the fact that we are staying here in the country, the fact that we are Filipino citizen, then we need to participate as a Filipino citizen. Okay? So, participatory citizen, not only in a national activity or national program, but even in our own community. Let's say, for example, in our own barangay, there are also certain things that we are doing there no? or we are doing in our community or our uh, provinces. No? So, we need to participate. Okay? The word uh, participate, no? that is also one good basis uh, to say that I am a good citizen. But if we are always uh, contradicting, we are always complaining to those things, maybe a program or maybe a law or policy, definitely nothing will happen. Now, let's say you will not become a good citizen. Okay? But there are also some points or maybe some cases that we need to uh, have, we need to argue because so maybe this kind of activity is not suited or not applicable for everybody. Okay? And another one is justice-oriented citizen. So, Being just and fair to other people. Okay, so that is one basic 
uh, what you say, a basic a basis no, for being a good citizen or how to become a good citizen. So being fair and just to yourself and also to other people. So justice-oriented citizen. So we're going to look at more details no, regarding those three general terms uh, in line to good citizenship. So responsibility, uh, participatory or participate, and then justice-oriented citizen. Okay, so let's start with uh, responsibilities. So since we talk about responsibilities, uh, being a good citizen or being a Filipino citizen, there are also duties and responsibilities that as much as possible, we must uh, do this one or we must uh, abide by these duties and responsibilities. Number one is love of country. So love our country since we are staying here in the Philippines since we are Filipino citizens how can we say that we are Filipinos if we don't know if we don't love our own country okay so one uh, a basic let's say a practical duty and responsibility is to love our own country okay so since we are Filipino we need to love our country what else upholding the constitution and obeying the laws Okay, so in fact that the laws is already there, it's already implemented, it's already been agreed no, by the, the administration, by the government, or by, by the leaders. Definitely we need to uh, hold or uphold those uh, constitution as well as the laws or policies and even uh, the different, uh, let's say, guidelines no, or maybe protocols that is being um, implemented no, in our country. Yeah, and a be, uh, very good example, the wearing of face mask and face shield. I think that is one good example when you talk about this uh, upholding the constitution and obeying the laws. Okay? And contribution to the development and welfare of the country. So as a Filipino, we need to have this kind of mindset no, that we need to contribute also for the development of our country. So we, not only in the success no, of our own life or on our uh, personal lives, but also to have something to contribute in our, uh, in our country for the development and improvement of our own country. Okay, so basically, or fact, or the fact that we are staying here in the Philippines, we need to have a contribution. Okay, uh, let's say for example, when you, when you talk about this part, uh, being uh, to participate no, on different programs and activities, that is already one good uh, thing to contribute no, in the development of our country. What else? Um, what's that? Promoting. Now, promoting the uh, work of uh, Filipinos, what else? Promoting what is all about or what is the facts about Philippines, that is already a contribution now in the development of our country because we are uh, that we are promoting, we are sharing what is the good thing, what are the good things that we can find or what are the good things all about the Philippines. Okay, so that is a very good contribution already to the development or improvement of our country. What else? Defense of the state so we need to defend also our own uh, country since we are again living in this particular country or no, here in the philippines so nstp again no in line to nstp it is one of the goal or objective that uh, you will become a defense uh, uh, there will be a defense preparedness no and that is again a good training or a good training ground here in the nstp Okay, so one duties and responsibility or one among the duties and responsibilities of being Filipino is to defend our own country. Okay, so love of country and then defend also our country. What else? Engagement and gainful work. So same, similar no, to what we call the contribution to the development or yung participatory citizen uh, that we need to involve or engage also ourselves on what is happening within our country. Especially if that is, uh, let's say, a national activity or let's say, for example, national election no, or yung mga local elections, that is already an engagement in our uh, country. And engagement in gainful work to contribute now on the development of our country. So I have mentioned, no, uh, let's say, for example, you are a member of an organization or let's say uh, you are working as a teacher, you are working as a, uh, let's say, uh, different kinds of professions no, that uh, you need to uh, contribute also on the development of our country and that is already an engagement no, or involvement uh, in our uh, in, in the development or the improvement of our country. Okay, what else? Responsible exercise of rights and respect for the rights of others. So this is a very good um, duty, in, uh, duty and responsibility of being Filipino uh, so that we need to know, know what are the things that we need to do or not to do or we need to know what is the 
the, the proper way you no know, to approach or to respond to a particular person or maybe to our fellow countrymen no and uh, the thing is that when we talk about this responsible exercise of rights no we talk about human rights my dear classmates sometimes uh, we cannot blame no we cannot blame uh, other people or our fellow Filipinos if they committed crime because uh, most of the time no one of the reason is that uh, they don't know what is all about the rights they don't know what is all about our human rights or what is our right as Filipino so it is also good no that uh, everybody should be aware or know about these rights especially when you talk about that human rights that is being implemented or that is accordance to the law no because sometimes uh, or let's say mind you no my dear classmate if you try to look at uh, what is happening in our country or if you try to interview every Filipinos I tell you my dear classmate not all knows about the rights of being a Filipino or the, the what we call this one the human rights no so you are actually lucky no those who can go to school those who can uh, access the internet or google about these uh, things they are being educated no about rights what is your right as a student what is your right as a Filipino what is your right as a parent what is your right as a as a children those things no so being aware being educated is uh, actually one good uh, basis or foundation on how to become responsible citizen at the same time to fulfill this kind of duty and responsibility no that's why it's really hard no to or the reality will really uh, reflect on what is happening within here in our country so especially on the isolated provinces or isolated places here in our country mind you no not all filipinos or not Yes, not all Filipinos are aware actually of this kind of rights or this kind of human rights. No, so if you observe no on other subjects, let's say for example political science, what else? Uh, ethics. They are uh, discussing to you what is all about human rights, or let's say uh, some part of it that, that is related to human rights, etc. So that you will be educated, so that you will be aware what is your right. I mean, even in University of Baguio, no. Uh, once you enroll to University of Baguio, you have what we call the student handbook, no? and that is serve as your guideline or basis, uh, so that you know also what is uh, the things that you need to exercise or what are the things that is your right as a student, no? what are the things that you need to do if something will happen, uh, how can you complain, etc. and so on. No? You can see already there the all of your rights as a student, and even the teachers and even other uh, the the staffs or maybe other employees here in our university. So it's really a very good point no to become responsible on exercising of our rights and respect for the rights of others especially when we talk about respect no as we as as, as the saying said that uh, res- uh, respect begets respect no so if you respect yourself definitely you need to respect also other people so how you respect yourself is also will uh, will reflect also on how you respect other people no so respecting uh, or the word respect if you respect yourself you respect others uh, even though you don't know what is all about the rights you don't know what is all about the human rights uh, respect I think is one good foundation already no, or one good basis already to become uh, to fulfill you no know, this kind of duty and responsibility as a good a Filipino citizen so even though you are not to say you're not Filipino no we are still exercising this kind of terms yung respect no being respectful to other people being respectful to yourself so how can you respect other people if you don't respect yourself how can you respect other uh, let's say foreigners if you don't respect uh, your own uh, fellow countrymen no, those things now when you talk about this kind of duty and responsibility but else aside from this respect and uh, exercising the rights um, election of good leaders to government so again this is uh, as that I have mentioned earlier no, on, on participatory or as, uh, as a Filipino citizen that we need to participate and one good example is election so electing now the good leaders to our government that we know that can lead no, as Filipinos for the good uh, for the good and for the betterment and for the improvement or development of our country. Okay? And take note now the term good leaders. Well, in fact, when you talk about this election, no, since malapit na rin naman yung election with your classmate this um, uh, 
this uh, uh, coming uh, new, uh, new set of uh, the masan makakaroon na tayo ng new set ulit ng uh, officers or leaders in the government uh, let's try to highlight no the word good leaders so yes we know that we can point out maybe in our perspective in our perspective because of what they are doing sometimes we said they are good leaders but in reality they are not now so let us just be wise and be observant on what is happening Uh, here in our country especially when we talk about already with our leaders well in fact when we talk about leaders no even in the other countries uh electing no electing leaders electing good leaders we everybody no everybody not even not, not only leaders have actually the negative side so uh in in reality no this is actually what is happening we are just electing the uh, leaders that is having a lesser evil No, or there is a lesser negative side of this kind of person. So, kahit na sino, my dear classmate, no, kahit na sino, let us observe what happened for the past years or for the past decades, from the very first president until this present. No, meron at meron paring uh, palya, or there is always a negative impact within our country. Or let's say there is a negative uh, action no, that is uh, taking part of this of these uh, different kinds of leaders, especially when we talk about president. No, so meron at meron pa rin naman. Ang pinipili lang naman kasi ta- natin is that the uh, what you call the the lesser evil. No, so be wise enough. No, since malapit yung election, let us be wise. No, let us be more observant on what is happening or what are the actions of these kinds of leaders that we need to be. That need to be elected. That we know that we can help, or that we know that uh, it can help the Philippines or our fellow countrymen, or us all, no Filipinos. Okay, another one: um, cooperation with the duly consti- uh, constituted authorities. So, example: no, yung yung police, yung yung frontliners, uh, the doctors, etc. Uh, we need to cooperate no whatever the for example the protocols that is being given to us the guideline no because of this pandemic we need to follow we need to cooperate so that everybody will be uh, having a what is that everybody will be safe or everybody will uh, will will not commit crime or everybody will be in a better uh, place or in a better way no so cooperation is actually a very good term and not only cooperation let's say um let's say teamwork no so like for example again this covid-19 this pandemic this crisis that you are facing we need to be cooperative no we need to be sensitive also on what is happening around us no especially when we talk about the protocols etc so we need to follow now we need to cooperate so that uh, uh this will this type of uh, virus or this type of uh, things that is happening will be solved um uh, sooner or maybe in a better way or in a faster way so cooperation no and uh, here in the NSTP definitely we're going to have that kind of uh, things that uh, will be developed or your being a teamwork or being a group no you need to practice also that uh, what we call yung cooperation or yung teamwork oriented na mindset no in uh, particular maybe grouping activities or maybe when you go outside already or when you go have what we call yung uh, community immersion you will need that kind of term no yung or you need to come up with that uh, or you need to have that kind of mindset yung being cooperative okay, what else um one good basis also or our foundation as Filipinos we need to know what is the Philippine preamble uh, i don't know if they introduced to you already this one during your high school because we do have what we call the subject makabayan no, or yung araling panlipunan so i think this is also mentioned or being uh, reminded to you to at least familiarize or remember what is all about this philippine preamble now so you have there already no we the sovereign filipino people imploring the aid of almighty, almighty god etc because when you talk about this philippine preamble you will see there that the content of this philippine preamble is basically or are basically the 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 good citizenship values of being a filipino or let's say the core value of being filipino or let's say this is uh, definitely reflecting what is or how no how to become or how, why is it that we called filipino so you need to know the philippine preamble at least if you don't memorize you know what is the content what is all about the philippine preamble but it is also better or yes it is also better if you memorize you no know, the the philippine preamble okay so i have said that it is one of the the content of the philippine preamble 
is actually the good citizenship values. So what are those? No, there are four. I know that you have heard about those things. So you have there pagiging makadios, uh, makatao, makabayan, and then makakalikasan. So those are the good citizenship values of being Filipino or definitely the core value of being a Filipino. So this is a very good uh, Uh, topic or lesson because we're going to discuss no all those uh, four good citizenship values. So in this uh, first discussion, I may not finish all uh, the discussion from Makadios until Makakalikasan, but let's try. No, whatever we can finish, we're going to continue this one on the next part or the next discussion. Okay, so let's start with the first good good citizenship values, which is the pagka Makadios. Okay, so. Ay, kailan ba natin no? Kailan ba natin masasabi na makajus tayo or how can we say no na makajus tayo because uh, there are a lot of considerations or bases on how no how can we say that uh, we are actually in this type of or we have this kind of value. Okay, so let's start with uh, defining what is actually pagka makajus or or makajus no. So spirituality definitely that is in line to the the concept of spirituality. What else? Uh, it is a part to be religious. So Uh, if you are religious, we can say that you are makajos. But mind you, no, not all religious are considered to be makajos. No, minsan ginagamit nila lang yung term na makajos. Pero in reality, or whatever the actions, it will really reflect, no, uh, if you if you are really a makajos or not. No, and uh, if you go back on the history of the Philippines, Philippines is considered to be the only Christian country before. Especially here in the Southeast Asia, uh, so we know that during the time of Spain or Spanish era, and even the time of American era, they use actually the religious aspect or concept to conquer now or to yes to conquer our or our our country. No, so that is actually their one of their let's say weapon before to uh, to conquer the Philippines. And that is also one of the reason why the Philippines is considered to be the or turn out to become a Christian country because we are being influenced by the uh, the Spanish as well as by the Americans. No, so they are the ones who introduce about this uh, Christianism, especially in Spain. No, so we have been under Spain for almost 300, uh, more than 300 years. No, and that is a very long time. We suffer a lot. No, in a different concept, but in the other hand, we're also learned all about uh, that being Christian. No, so Christianism started already during the Spanish era, and uh, also during the time of Americans. So aside from education, uh, they use also the uh, religious religious concept or aspect to conquer now our country. Okay? and again, no, uh, here in the Asian countries, uh, or let's say in the Southeast Asia, Philippines is considered to be the first. Or the only Christian country before. So during this modern time, if you observe, no, as time goes by, uh, we also already that the other Asian countries are turning out to be, or part of it are converting now into a Christian country. So for example, Japan, part of uh, Korea, uh, particularly South Korea. Um, what else? China, no parts also of China, uh, parts of Thailand, parts of Vietnam, and other uh, other uh, Asian countries. Uh, so that is how uh, how let's say how powerful no the the religious aspect or concept and we know that most of you or let's say all of you maybe no in my class is considered to be christian but take note no uh, i hope that you hold into that one on that term christian because uh, sometimes we can say that we are christian but in reality through our actions sometimes it really reflects that we are not Christians. So there are some terms that we need to take note when we talk about pagiging makajos, no? Or paano nga ba maging what ikaw saan? Paano nga ba yung tinatawag natin na being Christian no? or pagiging makajos? So first, faith and belief in God. So definitely that is the basis or foundation. How can you say that you are makajos, no? You have the faith, you believe in our God, no? And when I talk about this term, um This is already an innate or a natural trademark of being a Filipino. So if you go to other countries and they know that you are Filipino, oh, one of the trademark we I know that uh, your country is Christian country, definitely you are Christian. So that is already a trademark now for being a Filipino. Uh, that is really true. So if you're going to ask other even other even foreigners that is coming here in the Philippines, 
uh, they know that one, no, that being a Filipino is actually a Christian. And mind you that here in our country, there's a lot of uh, different kinds of, let's say, uh, religious uh, Uh, yun? religious sex no yung sekta na tinatawag natin so for example meron tayong INC meron tayong uh, Jehovah meron tayong um, Alikan meron tayong um, Catholicis uh, Catholic and other uh, sex no of this uh, or sekta ng uh, uh, that, ng, ng in, 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 in religious uh, aspects no? so that is uh, why Uh, the Philippines is really known or trademark the trade na, uh, trademark na or naging trademark na ang pagiging makajos or pagiging uh, Christian no? so all over the world actually the uh, Philippines is also uh, well known when we talk about this uh, Christianism no and uh, take note that being makajos no that we need to always remember this one that faith alone without work is actually useless so even though you have faith Even though you believe in God, but you are not doing anything, you're not doing anything to help yourself or to prove that you are, uh, let's say, a Christian or to prove that you are makajos, then that is already useless. No, so for example, we only, uh, that, let's say, you have a very, big, very, very big problem, and you just uh, depend only on the faith. Let's say you depend only on on God, for example. No, so sabi mo, uh, bala na si Lord, chano yung bala sa akin, but you are not doing anything. So definitely that is already a useless thing, no? So if you don't work, yeah, faith alone will not really save you. But faith with work or with your action definitely will do something else. No? So take note on that on uh, faith alone without work is actually useless. So that is a very good reminder to everybody when you talk about or when you say that you are uh, makajos. No? And aside from faith and belief in God, we need also to have a respect on our life. No? So respect for life. So respect begins with respect. No? So if you respect yourself, you respect your own life, definitely you're going to respect also other people. And that is actually one good, uh, let's say, uh, an attitude of being a makajos. No? If you are a makajos, or they say, If you are a Christian, definitely you need to respect also other people. And not only not only the in different concepts, no? So not only in the religious aspect but also in a different uh, concepts or aspects, no? Let's say for example, you respect the, uh, the the point of view of this kind of person, you respect the the work of this kind of person, you respect the status of this kind uh, this, this person. So definitely all of the concepts that we can find uh, what is happening around us. No, so respect for life. Respect yourself. You respect your, uh, respect yourself. Respect what you are doing. Respect also other people. So if you respect yourself, you can definitely respect other people. Okay. So respect begins with respect. And take note in this uh, very good quotation no, by uh, Brother Andrew Maria. Um, Treat life with respect, and life itself will reveal its beauty to you. Okay, so it's really something else that we need to do. Uh, think all about it, no, about this kind of uh, term, respect. So treat life with respect and life itself will reveal its beauty to you. Sometimes we are not expecting a good event that is happening uh, just by um, uh, respecting other people. Or let's say, uh, isn't it that it's really uh, that we have a good uh, feeling? Now let's say we are happy if we respect other people and even if we respect ourselves. Now that is the point, no? When we talk about this uh, respect for life. Okay, so that is one uh, characteristic or let's say an attitude of being makajos. So how can you say that you are makajos if or how can you say that you are a Christian if number one thing that you do not you you cannot do is that to respect yourself or you cannot respect other people. Okay, so take note that is a good or that is one Uh, characteristic of being a uh, Christian or ha- what you say, uh, believing in God and say yung makajos no, in our Filipino term. All right. And aside from that one, um, uh, we need to look at also the rights, uh, beliefs, culture, personality, dignity, integrity of a person. So respecting no, not only yourself not only other people but also on the other concepts so for example respecting the rights respecting the belief respecting the culture uh, personality of this kind of person the dignity and integrity of this individual or this person and take note that 
in in line no in line to uh, the concept of pagiging maka Dios we need to take note in this uh, familiar or popular statement no that our body is God's temple we always hear that one even before if you attended a attended a fellowship or if you attended a church no uh, most of the time na may mention at may mention actually itong statement na yan so sabi nila no our body is God's temple so we need to respect our uh, body especially again going uh, i'm going to highlight no the the females and even males no? so take note my dear students or my dear classmate you need to respect your body whatever you are doing in your body is actually the say consider it sacred no or sabi natin your our body is actually sacred yan kasi nga sabi diyan our body is god's temple so we need to respect our body we need also to respect our uh Is that our friends, our family, and the body of our maybe even though that is your that is your what you say that is your wife, that is your husband. Or let's say you are a couple. You need to still have this kind of mindset. No, that always remember to respect. No, always remembers this quotation no, or this statement that our body is God's temple. So napakasagrado ng katawan ng tao. So mind you, no, hindi laruan ang katawan niyo, especially females. No, kahit na jowa mo yan, kahit na boyfriend, girlfriend mo yan, you need to be respectful or you need to respect also your uh, selves. No? And uh, aside from this, uh, our body is God's temple, uh, we need to understand that we, uh, these terms, no, we need to protect, we need to nurture and preserve our body because it is sacred, because it's a God's temple. So I think this is a very good reminder to everybody, especially this generation, no, from uh, the generation millennials, no. Uh, marami, uh, if you try to look at what is happening around or here in our country, uh, especially young people, no, that is the reality. No, ang ang dami actually ng nangyari that is uh, not nece- it's really sad no? or sad reality here in our country. Uh, teenage pregnancy. What else? Um, Uh, siyan, uh, yung tinatawag natin na uh, rape cases and etc. There's a lot actually. And not only that one, not only into that uh, concept, but sometimes we when we hurt also ourselves, yan, it means that we don't love or we are not respecting ourselves. No? If you have heard about, for example, yung maybe because you are in the influence of alcohol or drugs, you you are hurting yourselves. Uh, let's say, yung paglalaslas, etc. That is, not, that is actually a big no, no. No, to since it is mentioned that our body is God's temple, you need to protect, we need to nurture and preserve our body. Okay, that is a very good reminder to everyone, my dear classmates. Okay, so aside from this, uh, aside from the respect no for life, we need to know also yung uh, what you call son. We need to learn also to uh, abide or follow. The, uh, the, the the rules and regulation or maybe laws or policies so order no pagsunod sa aliton al, al, aliton tunin so that is one good uh, basis also on saying that you are makajos or we can uh, have what you call this one of uh, we can become ma- ma- makajos no? so order pagsunod sa aliton tunin so what does it mean first thing first now what is the first thing that we need to uh, Do what is our priority. What is the things that we need to follow? Mm-hmm. So, uh, look at what is the word no in the right screen. We have their self-discipline. So, doing what you know needs to be done, even when you don't feel like it. So, self-discipline is one good basis also, uh, or it is a good, was that a good um, attitude no of uh, being a. Uh, makajos, no? So self-discipline, your mind, your emotion, your action. You know what you're doing. You need to think first before doing these things. So th- first things, uh, first thing first. No, you need to think before acting, not acting before thinking. No, so that is uh, already a uh, different concept already. So orderly citizen is equal to orderly society, and that is also equal to or the orderly life. So order. Is a very good basis or foundation of what we say, or how can we say that we are makajos? So from respect, no, from faith and belief, uh, respect, and then order. Okay, so order, being an orderly citizen, 
being a responsible citizen, having this kind of self-discipline will definitely will lead us to a better community or a better society and even a better life. No, so self-discipline. So I think that is also what we need during this time. No, yung disiplina talaga. Ta sa mga number one na kailangan nating uh, Uh, i-practice no, yung self-discipline natin in different concepts. Uh, our mind should be disciplined. Our emotions should be di- uh, should be disciplined. Our actions uh, should be uh, disciplined. No? Especially during this pandemic or this crisis that we are facing. No? So, uh, there's a lot of uh, bad news that we hear every day. But hoping, no, upon understanding or knowing all about this self-discipline, I hope that you need to you you are being more aware or aware on those different things that is happening around us. So self-discipline is a I say a attitude no towards this uh, being a makajos no or how can we say that we are makajos? All right. So ensure security to everybody. That is also one good uh, thing that we need to take note. No, ensure security. Uh, that is also part of uh, being a disciplined person or individual. Mm-hmm. And uh, what else? Uh, aside from the order, yeah, and work, paggawa ng marangal. So we respect other people. Uh, we have this kind of order. We follow the uh, uh, whatever the policy or whatever the law, whatever the guidelines. And we have the faith in belief, but again, there's uh, all of these are useless if we don't work on it or we don't uh, act on those different terms or uh, different concepts that we are uh, learning. No, so action, so paggawa ng marangal, so work. We need to work it out. So being makajos, we need to show it. No, that we are makajos. So the duty to preserve one's life implies the duty to work. So it's useless if we are only talking all about it. We just, uh, we just, uh, what's that? We just uh, expressing it to words, but without action, nothing will happen. So paggawa ng marangal, doing good things also will show or will reflect that we are makajos. That is according to this, uh, according to our discussion. No, so I think that is also a very good reminder. To everybody, yeah. So, ngayon nakikita nyo pa ba yung mga ganyang, let's say for example, uh, simply by uh, simply by respecting the, the the elder people or older than you, yeah. Pagmano doon sa grandparents natin or sa mga tio tia natin, yeah. Those things, no, is a uh, good example of uh, this one, yung paggawa ng marangal. So, life is a do it do it yourself project. So. Uh, actions, no? Sabi nga nila, actions speak louder than words. So, it's useless if we are just uh, saying it but without work or without doing good things or doing the right thing, nothing will happen. Okay? So, there is a passion, there's love, there's integrity and honesty on our work or on doing uh, things, no? So, doing good things with passion, with love, integrity and honesty. Not just doing good things for a reason. Now that let's say you're expecting to uh, respecting in return that is not already a uh, paggawa ng marangal no so that is already in a different concept already or you do have a a different intention but again take note no you do good things with passion with love integrity and honesty and aside from work or paggawa ng marangal concern for family and future generation so pagkalinga and this is also one basis on saying that we are makajos Uh, if we do have concern for family in future generation. So, meron tayong pagkalinga doon sa ating pamilya, sa parents natin, sa mga kapatid natin, even our brothers, uh, our younger brothers and sisters, or uh, the, gener- the next generations. No? So, sanctuary of life and a care unit of society. So, definitely that is the function no, of family. And family is very important within our society or within our community. So, How 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 our uh, how will our country will become developed or will be, will improve if uh, the family itself there is already problem, no? Or we don't we, we don't concern already or we don't care already about family, then nothing will happen already to this particular society or maybe in this country. Okay, so concern for family and future generation. And what else? Ang hindi marunong, eto, 
this is a very popular or familiar lines no or uh, quotation that ang ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay di makararating sa paruroonan that is actually true no so we become let's say for example uh, you study now no and your parents are supporting you etc and then sooner or later you become professional uh, professionals so don't uh, uh we need to look back no on the the things that we when the time that we are still starting uh we need to look back on those people who support us no so we we are concerned we have the care no hindi porket successful na tayo hindi porket nasa mataas ka na na lugar or let's say hindi hindi naman lugar mataas na position etc you have also good we you have already good life you don't care already with those people no that uh, they help you they push you etc so There is what you call yung term na uh, being humble, no? So that is also part of being or how can we say that we are makajos. So we have concern, we have this kind of uh, integrity, we have this kind of humility, no, in our life. So hindi porket successful tayo, we need to look back again, no, on the people or on the those things that happens before as our our strength, no, to be in this uh, present time or be on your position at present no so that is again a very good reminder to everybody yan ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay di makakarating sa paroroonan that is actually true no although sabihin natin na uh, yes maybe because of your uh, you do it individually or independent meron at meron pa rin naman no meron at meron pa rin namang mga tao na tumutulong sa to achieve your dreams for example yan or to become successful etc So you are not there you are not in this present position na uh, be, not uh, uh, because or because of these kinds of people that uh, helped you before and etc. So concern for family and future generation even even having what they call the humility and knows how to look back no on where we came from. So uh, that we are also being guided no on the future things that we need to do or future actions Uh, that we are definitely uh, doing or reflecting in our society or in our family or on ourselves. All right, and uh, that's it now for this uh, first part. And for the second part, I'm going to discuss to you uh, pagkamakatao. So that is again for for pagkamakajos before I proceed to pagkamakatao. Let's try to go over again. No, let's me just uh, summarize. So you have there. A faith in belief in God, and we also have the respect for life. We also have to have what you call this one order to follow the uh, uh, follow the the guidelines, policies, etc., or the rules and regulation. And we also have the work. No, yung work we need to go, do good things, and uh, we also have the uh, concern no for family and future generation. So uh, we need to. Uh, B, uh, so that we need to take note on those different terms on how can we say that we are makajos or ang pagiging isang makajos. Okay, so now let's proceed to pagiging makatao. So aside from being makajos, you need also to become makatao. So shared being, uh, for example, no shared being or yung the bayanihan spirit. So pagka makatao, kailan ba natin masasabi? I think one good example, yan, yung pagiging, um, let's say we are concerned to other people, Uh, we have what you call this one bayanihan system. So who and what man is? So how, no how or uh, how do you define who you are? How do you define being a man or being a person? So it means that we have our own role. We have our own responsibility as a person, and that makes us a a person. No, or whatever we do, it reflects also what. Uh, Uh, how how can we achieve what we call yung pagiging makatao? And there are also different concepts that we need to take note here in or how can we say that we are makatao? First thing is that there's love. Okay, so tendency of the will towards what is good. That is actually a very good definition or description when you talk about love. So if there is love, you love yourself, you love other people, that is already one of the attitude of being makatao. Okay? And not a feeling, rather shown as an action. So again, love is not only a feeling or not only a descriptive word, or let's say an adjective, but is a actually an action. 
No, so if we do not act our love, it's useless. No, so how can we say that we are makatao if we don't love or we do not uh, act on it? No, the term love. Okay, so acting or uh, reflecting it through action. So if you are familiar with the story Sand in Stone, uh, you can read actually that one in the module. But uh, let me just highlight no, the, the lesson of this story. So this is all about the story of um, Pedro and Juan. Yeah, and we're in they're going to there's something there's something hap, something happened in their journey and um, one of them write something in sand and write also something in the stone so uh, it is the lesson we're in the power of love goes beyond pain in human frailties or that is the weak and delicate so it means that uh, if there are bad things no bad things happen we need to uh, write it in the sand and uh, so, so that it will be uh, carried away by wind so we can if there are bad things happen to us or you we, or, uh, or some someone did uh, bad things to us we need to forget and forgive while if there are good things happen to us or someone did good things to us we need to write it down in the stone so that we will uh, remember it now we need to reflect on those good things so it means that we need to we will never forget now whatever the good things that happens or done by other people to us that is uh, again no a very good concept towards what we call the term love no so yes sometimes no we do also bad things we we there are some people who do bad things to us or negative things but we need to forgive or we need to forget those bad things or negative things while good things we need to keep it we need to remember you no know, those good things because uh, it is good things no sino nga ba naman ang hindi uh, makakalimot sa mga good things no that is happening or maybe positive things that our philip uh, our friends that is do uh, that friends are doing to us no? or maybe uh, our families etc and yeah, so that is the story or the lesson to uh, the story sand and stone so the power of love goes beyond pain and human frailties okay. so again that is a very good um, concept towards uh, the meaning of love mm -hmm. and that's it my dear classmate for this discussion um, I'm going to continue uh, the next part on the next uh, uh, GMIT conference and I hope that you learned something if you do have questions or clarifications just post that one in our group chat or maybe in our canvas so thank you so much for joining me this this uh, lesson and I'll see you on the continuation or the next part uh, take care always and then God bless everyone